Welcome to Malajo. Hello guys, you're welcome to my channel. Today I am currently at a place called Malajo. And Malajo is actually a town on your way to Dodoa. So immediately you leave Adenta there and you are on your way, you reach Amehia. You will definitely have to get to Malajo before you get to Oyibi. So you have to reach Malajo first before you get to Oyibi. And um, when I alighted on the road, main road coming to this side actually is you know they have a very nice road you understand and when you alight there uh, i alighted at the school junction to the other side then i took my right at the um uh, my legal assembly there about so i just want to show you the kind of houses that are around here if this is your first time you kind of subscribe because i make videos of locations in ghana and i show you new projects that are actually on in every location so if this is your first time, kindly subscribe to the channel and don't forget to like and follow for more. After the uh, assembly junction and you walk to this side, you find out that uh, going to the main road over there to the other side is actually tart. But when you enter inside, the mini roads that are inside um, are not tart, you understand. But the major road that takes you from the school junction to the other side is well tart. Uh -huh, and that is where we are currently. I'm in the inner road you understand and i've decided to walk through to see some of the houses that are actually built around this location and you can actually see what i'm seeing they have nice houses around but at the same time you also get to see that the roads are quite well demarcated because this is actually a road here and there's also another lane here too so i don't want to go inside because i'm actually expecting some people i want to walk through this um this site so that we we'll see what um is there for us but for now you can just have a look at what we have here the kind of some people's projects semi-finished and those that are finished you can see mm -hmm. so you can see so as for this place the road is not hard that is at this side and this side too the road is not hard but it looks quite better so normally a car can usually use this road without having any problem you understand yeah cars are, are already using this route uh -huh. but where i am currently the drainage system is not yet done but the road is wide enough to have a drainage system you can see this is a car behind me you understand uh -huh. so the road this road the, this inner road is quite wide it can actually have a drainage system in it uh -huh. and one nice thing about this place is that this location is you know it's quite developing you understand getting a land here or a virgin land here to buy will be very difficult yes you have to buy from someone who is reselling his land yeah it will be very difficult but uh, the good news is that we ourselves we have some lands here that i'm yet to go show you uh -huh. so if you haven't watched that you can just check in the next video or just check in my video you see and um, the land that we have at this location here for sale uh-huh so it's actually a very good location and it is closer to town than you know or you be than other locations you understand uh-huh so you can see that uh, alhamdulillah they have a lot of nice projects that are actually ongoing on you see this is someone's project that you see right there uh-huh you can see a lot of projects in front uh -huh. so most of the houses here are semi-finished some are finished but they haven't painted them uh -huh. so you see this is a very big land that is just closer to me now person acquired it fenced it and that's it uh -huh. so when you are actually looking forward to having a land after acquiring the land the next step is actually to fence it uh -huh. there's no need to waste time or anything because when you fence it that you build or let's uh, have some caretakers on your land in that case you'll be able to protect your land from you know uh, people you know uh, uh, encroaching it or stealing the land from you mm -hmm. so these are the physical leftover work you have to do after you have good documentation of the land you are buying uh -huh. just having good documentation of the land you buy is not enough after you buy a land and you have good documentation you need to ensure that you do some homework you need to ensure that you put some projects there even if it's not what you intend uh -huh. so you can see where we are um, it's, it's quite it's quite nice we have some 
we've written something villa here uh, you can see yayos villa we've written yayos villa you can see that see they've written yayos villa so you can see how it looks like uh, and right here is also a school uh -huh. so you can see so they have institutions around that should tell you that oh the place is well done and you can see from where i'm coming from you can see that the road is well you know demarcated uh, no one builds on the road and behind it over there you can see that there's the hill behind there uh -huh. so that should tell you that people are also living on top of those hills at the top there you can see people are living on top of those hills at the top there uh -huh. so if you get or you are lucky to locate yourself at this location you are most likely going to be very close to Accra. Driving from this place to Accra actually takes you uh, around 30... No, Accra, let's be specific. Which part of Accra? Let's say um, Accra... Accra, uh, driving from here to Accra Airport. You understand? Driving from here to Airport will take you around, let's say, 40 minutes thereabout. All things being equal. Yeah, 40 minutes. Uh -huh. If you woke up here around 4 a.m. in the morning, then you can use around 20-25 minutes to be at the airport. Uh -huh. But on the normal day that there's no traffic on the road, you can use around 40 because there are cars and, you know, people will, be st uh, will delay you when you are using the road, you understand. So it's, it's quite manageable, you understand. Uh -huh. And the place is quite serene. You can see that the place is quiet. I'm just walking and you don't see noise or you don't hear noise uh, so that should tell you that the place is uh, very ser serene and you can see wow you can see what i'm seeing so some heavy projects at the back there you can see houses you can see houses it's a very nice house over there uh, so you can see it's an old project that you just need to watch pay attention to so it's important you understand that oh most of these locations that i show you are developing you understand very hard to acquire land this is a very nice piece of land it looks like it is two plots of land uh -huh. the person has bought it he has fancy thing uh, so people have already built around so that should show you the inner roads as for the inner roads they are not tired the inner roads are not tired you can see that the road is well demarcated you see this is going that's the road to this side you can go straight or go down and then there is a road here there's also another road here so that should show you that the roads are well demarcated at this location uh -huh. so this is malajor uh -huh. so if you are ever wondering how malajor looks like this video should give you an idea of how the place looks like so we actually took from uh the school junction the school junction that was where we uh, we moved from Malajo School Junction. We moved up to the assembly, the um, uh, Malajo Assembly. I think that's Pentecost, Pentecost uh, 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 Church. Uh -huh. So we moved from there and then we actually got to this place. So I want to actually go use the other side. That is what is in front of me right there. Uh -huh. So that we go forward like this. So that we keep going i'm actually expecting to meet some people coming from medina uh -huh. so we have land at malajor here it's very important to acquire it and i will share the details in the next videos so that you yourself you can actually learn and see how you can also get a land here for yourself you understand uh -huh. so this is a very nice place someone has parked his car at the outside here and it is safe Nobody has touched the car. Uh, so that is how the roads are. You can see how the roads... But this place is, is, is quite not okay. You see that the road is a is little bit bad. But there's a car that's just parked around the area. So that should tell you that cars can use this place. Uh -huh. So it's important you watch and understand and see the kind of project that are actually ongoing at this area. I'm going at this area so that you yourself you can actually learn. Uh -huh. So at this same place again, you have a very nice road over there at this place. Yeah, 
and you also have another, the road leading to this side and this was where I was I was actually coming from uh -huh. so it's very important you know that though the place is developing it's important you also understand that even if it is developing they've also not forgotten to make or have nice roads uh -huh. so Charlie be winning you uh -huh. so we actually want to go forward so that when we go forward we'll be able to see and understand what is over there for us mm -hmm. you can see that you saw the car that, the car that was horning ping 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 be it he uh, also has his house here every type of person everywhere you, you, you get a land and it is quite okay you can acquire it and have your nice home you understand uh, provided you are not building it lavishly it's a good place to acquire land see this is some some somebody's land built in it you will still have a very vast place that could be used as car park or even one one for plot <laughs> you understand uh, so this place is also another person's property you can see this place looks like a pottery farm or something like that uh -huh. so you can see in front there uh -huh. so important you can see the, the road over there and there are there is you can see the car that is also coming from me yes so in front there what i am seeing also look quite beautiful you can see in front there let me get there before i show you very well here yeah? uh-huh when i get i'll be able to show you very well and you get to see how the place also looks like yeah uh -huh. so you can see the cars are also moving on the road yeah okay so that should tell you that since a saloon car like this can move on this road shows you that the car is is, is uh, the road is okay you understand the road is nice uh -huh. uh, that is how you need to also view what you can see that mm -hmm. so if smaller cars like this saloon cars can move on this road and they are okay what shows that the road is not nice it's just not that but it is okay you understand uh -huh. so we have some nice house around and in front there is police station the police station is front can you see that is the police station i'm pretty sure that is the manager police uh, police container or police um, office understand uh -huh. so you have to you have to you can see some nice roads also leading to that side uh -huh. so very big road so this is where we are we actually came from you can see that's where we came from and we are actually going to where actually going to the other side or what is in front of us uh -huh. So you can see some nice houses around this place. You can see some nice houses around this place. You can see some nice houses. It's a nice house around this place. So I should tell you that the place is developing. If you ever wish to have a home around here, you don't need to hesitate. You need to take a move, make a move as quick as possible. That way you'll be able to acquire a home early. They say it is the early bed that catches the big fish. If you make a move here, you'll be able to get a good piece of land with, um, you know, at a good location. I hope you understand. So, quite interesting. This place has a wide road as well. As you can see, the road is quite wide. Yeah. You can see. Uh -huh. So, even the, the owner of this house has built a drainage system in front there. You can see. A small bridge that he has done uh -huh. so you can see the houses are over there in front there at the top they're coming to this side all oh, these are all houses that you should watch you should take a look at uh -huh. so this is actually a guest house that is a guest house it has a gym conference hall and everything inside uh -huh. so you have to make the decision and actually learn about every location so you can make your best decisions you understand uh -huh. over there here too they have a nice tad route you understand very nice route over there that's the lane yeah yeah 
so basically you also have to just um, make your decision and know how to actually um, benefit from it so this is the guest house it has a very wide place for programs and things uh -huh. so the roots um, flint ventures here yeah? uh -huh. so it's important you just look around study the place very well before you actually um, uh, 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 buy land at, at these locations like this I hope you understand uh -huh. so the more you walk through the more you walk with me you get to learn about the location understand uh, as you can see down there it's a very nice place as well the beautiful houses down there uh -huh. you can as well see so we are actually behind me yes you are watching me right now behind me is actually the police the police station and there's also a road over there as well uh -huh. so you have a school they've written sedox academy uh -huh. so sedox academy is where we are that's the police station uh, the police station is just behind me as well uh -huh. so you see that we are just on the main road you can see they've tied the road take a look you can see how they've tied the road let's walk and get closer then i can show you very well see we finally come at the icgc church or prayer place uh -huh. you can see that's the icgc place and you can see how the road is start Hmm. Very nice road. The road is start. Very nice road, man. Taking you to this side, which is the main road from uh, the Adenta Dudua Road. Uh -huh. So we want to climb, to walk to that place, so that we'll be able to, you know, um, you know, learn about the place. So you can see behind me is actually the Chad Road, and you can also see how the place is beautiful. So. So if this is your last, the first time, kindly subscribe. We've actually come to the end of the video. My people have called me. They want to meet me. So I'm rushing to go meet them, yeah? Welcome to Malajor. So from where I am running from, you just run to Salem Estates. Salim Estates or Salem Estates. Yes, so you get to that place. And that is where we actually end the video. Kindly subscribe.